How was your march? Did the police understand your message? Yeah, they charged me with a bunch of crimes. Destruction of property, vandalism, assault, third degree, second degree. Wow, that's a lot. Legal parking, pushing an old lady down, indecent exposure. I can't believe they framed you for all that. Framed? Well, that was a hell of a nap. Fucking cold. I wonder if Amanda's cold. Not sure if you've noticed, but half the country is afraid of their own toasters. You know why? Because, because androids, are... androids are attacking their owners. I thought Kamsey would have been helpful. But I learned nothing. Is that so? Maybe you just didn't cooperate. I didn't cooperate in this crazy game. I didn't want to kill that girl. And how do you even know that? You know him? That's old news. It's not important right now. Amanda, talk to me, girl. Was he hitting that? Y'all seem about the same age. Look, my Lexus had to get paid for somehow. Anyway, these deviants have a leader now, Connor. Stop him before he brings chaos. I entrust this mission to you. That's it, Hank. You're done. The FBI has a here. Wait, what? We almost have the answer. Just give me a few hours to solve it. But this. don't forget, they're talking about the FBI. The androids are at war. The whole force will be out of work for a while. Fuck that. I drove out to Kamsky's house to solve this case. Y'all were saying you didn't want to work anyways. I don't see why you have a problem. I invested a lot in this case. I've been to Eden's, Stratford, the rich man's house. You want to cut me off now? I'm sorry. Company's orders. Hey, what are you doing? Literally, everything I've been through the past few weeks meant nothing. I understand how you feel. No need to quit the job. I'm done with this job. I'm done with you and these fucking androids. I'm going home. I just can't let everything Hank's done go to waste. I'll solve this case myself. Everything we've discovered so far, what an acid trip this is about to be. It's the Deviant from the first mission. What was his name again? David? Donald? It was something lame. It's the Speedster's book. Wow, he traveled all of Detroit. Whoa, even the place I'm looking for. Well, doesn't this look familiar? It isn't my friend Gavin. I thought I smelled some bad hairspray. You and that fucking smart-ass mouth of yours. This time it's me and you. Is that the best you can do, Scrap Bucket? If you dodged my hits like you dodged your barber, you could have been unstoppable. Now sleep, Gavin. Our bromance has been fun, though. I understand many didn't make it, I get it, but every action I did was to help my people. I know you're dealing with a lot, but remember what I said, I'm with you until the end. I even made you this. A TV remote? No, stupid, it's a bomb. If the humans find a way to corner us, I want us to have a backup plan. Only use this as a last resort. A way to destroy a thousand people with the push of a button. And you're trusting me with it? <laughs> Brave girl. Even at the potential end of our world, you're still making jokes. You know, whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that you did good playing hero. And I am impressed. So I did do it. So, does this make me daddy now? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.
Well, was the kiss good, though? It was okay. Daddy. Oh my god, what is this feeling? I've never experienced this before in my life. Seems Hank has abandoned you, Connor. You'll be infiltrating Jericho on your own. Now bring in Marcus. Don't let his smooth talk raise you. Everything has led up to this moment. Should I have added some tongue in there? Nah, I think that was fine. Marcus. Huh? I've been ordered to bring you in, but... Wow. You're actually really handsome for an android. Why, thank you. I try. What is this? Did you forget you're one of us? You are an elegant design. Built for perfection. Elegant? You think so? I know so. The humans will never understand you like I will. Take it from someone who bleeds just like you do. I can see the hurt behind those eyes. I have been through so much. Maybe... Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try! You are good! Looks like reason's out the window. Damn, the cops are here. Do you, Do you feel, feel that? that? You good, Kara? We need to get out of here. Come on, go, go, go! Your boys know the drill. Search and destroy. Kara, the cops are storming in. You always remember that one game where you shoot the robots and feels just like that. The cops have covered our exits. They have guns and they're killing everyone they see. All right, we're blowing up Jericho. I thought that was a last resort. Don't care, I'm blowing it up. Lucy, what happened to you? I always trusted you would make the right choice. I believe in you. Lucy. I'll do this for you. Luther! Go on without me! You're in this family too. I'm not leaving you. Quickly, store in the rooms. I am dead weight right now. You need to get Alice and get out of here. You think once we kill them, we can salvage them for scraps? And what will you do? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'll figure something out. Just make sure she's safe. That's an exit. We're almost there. Hands! Behind your head! And where do you think you're going? Play dead. Should we check to see if they're actually dead? No. I'm not touching that. I don't know where it's been. Well, we're wearing gloves. Ah, bollocks. Who cares? Look, boss doesn't pay me to touch things, okay? Amazing, Amazing performance, Kara. Cara. Someone, Someone, bring, bring her an Oscar. Oscar. We did it. Come on, let's go. Aren't they playing dead, too? Um, no. Let's just keep going. The bomb is a touchpad? What if like some debris fell on it and all of us would be done for? We wouldn't even know. I, I should probably think about this after I get off the boat. The bomb's been set. Let's go. Set bombs to the ship. We're calling all troops to retreat. Outplayed. Damn you, Marcus.
Old man! You're alive! Malcolm! Is that you? This mark is the old fart. That dementia's kicking in. <laughs> I can't remember names, but I remember you still owe me $30. What are you doing here? <laughs> you haven't changed. Carl, you wouldn't believe what I've been through. Well, I won't be alive forever. I don't know what to do, Carl. I try to fix one problem and I just end up with another. I don't even know if there's a good ending for what I'm fighting for. The world is driven by hatred, Malcolm. Marcus. Right, right. But I just want everyone to understand one another. I don't have any black or white answers for you. I'm just an old man in a... In a 600,000 mansion. But I always taught you if your passion drives you to go get something, knock down whatever you have to, to get it. Thanks, Carl. I think I get it. <laughs> you get any hoes while you've been gone? <laughs> yeah. But I think I found something better than hoes. <laughs> My boy's grown up. Or I put you and your kid in danger, and I'm sorry. You probably never experienced anything like that before. Oh, trust me, I have. Guns, psychotic people, national policemen, yeah, we've done a lot. And I killed a man. Damn, I, I guess I don't have to worry about you two. Marcus. Yeah? I believe in you. Attention everyone, I'm tired of speeches, so I'm gonna be straight up. Are you ready to end this? Attention United States. After the incident in Detroit, all civilians will be under lockdown until we fix the problem. Any questions? You, ma'am. Yes, Miss President. I was wondering why in the world do we have to stay inside our houses? What could be so important you would evade a national emergency? Well, these monsters are coming around eating us in the ass. Like, how do you expect me to sit here and relax with that? I cannot help you with that. Next. Madam President. You, ma'am. How do we return our defective androids? I was promised 16 inches, but only got 15 and a quarter. This is outrageous. Do I look like a refund center? Call Walmart or wherever you got it from. Now, does anyone have an actual question? Miss President, I cannot afford to shut down my pornographic industry just because of a few AIs that are malfunctioning. And business just started booming. Robots on robots. And All right, I'm done here. Just a little further to the bus, everyone. If your passion drives you to get something, knock down whatever you have to. Get it. End of the line, Marcus. You dodged me on Jericho, but it ends now. This time, I get the job done. Long time no see, bot. What you got there? Seriously, Captain Allen, 
Can we do this another time? Yeah, I remember you. Back on that hostage mission. You're impressive. However, our president has ordered we bring in all androids we find. That includes you. I'm trying to help us. I have a task and I will complete it no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to your robot gods when you get this assembled. Sorry, droid, but all the cards are in my hand. Oh, really? <laughs> I think you might be missing one. And which one is that? Uno reverse card, bitch! Wait, what? You're just another murderous TV! We were fighting for the same side. It didn't have to end this way. Damn, he got away. Listen, you're gonna want to hear this. The androids are stationed on the west front. The army is stationed in the east. This could be anyone's game. We will be right back after this commercial break. They're broadcasting us on TV. I bet the news crew is banking a fortune. Man or machine? Remember what we stand for. On my signal. Attack! Either my stuff's on a hundred or you guys are blind. Marcus? Connor. <laughs> so you know who I am this time. Think fast. This is the time I fight Connor the Deviant Slayer. Damn, that name is cool. Hmm. Where's the Lancian Deviant Slayer? I like it. You do know only one of us is walking away from this, right? That's right. Because if I fail, I have nowhere to return to. Me either. With everything I've done, I'd have nowhere to return. Looks like we sell this Fight Club style. You know the first rule of Fight Club. You don't talk about Fight Club! Fuck, you hit like a truck! You fight well, better than most of the other cops. You're still pretty stiff. Ha <laughs> ha! About to lay pipe on you, Marcus! <laughs> hey yo, you were supposed to say pause. Now it just sounds weird. No, 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 not the pipe! <laughs> you know, in another life, we could have been the best homies. <sighs> yeah, we're not androids. Goodbye, Connor. Capital has been captured. Looks like we did it. We finally made it. Canada is just through those doors. I've been through so much. How do androids cry? Knock, knock, it's me. Rose? What are you doing here? My girls are okay. I saw Jericho got bombed on TV and I thought you two might have been killed. Alice and I are okay. You came here just for us? Sure did. Well, 
I was also holding illegal androids in my house, but that's besides the point. We're coming with you. We? Uh, you know, when we first met, I didn't like you very much. I guess since then, I uh, kind of warmed up to you. Just a little, I guess. Also, when we get to Canada, stay away from my room. I regret to inform everyone most of our troops have fled the battlefield. With this defeat, we will most likely be clowned by the United Nations. God bless the United States. All right, androids, our time has come. You no longer have to be looked at like an object. Humans see we are real beings. However, I do want to express that not all humans are bad. Some motivate you to be better. So in the end result, we just want to be treated equally. So from now on, we will live just like them. So I guess you could say, Detroit has become human. Hey, that has a nice ring to it. North, I just want you to know, I dropped all my hopes for you. Every last one. <laughs>